Last night at this time, the news was still breaking about the explosion at Minnehaha Academy. Today, we are hearing more stories about the victims. Ruth Berg, a receptionist of 17 years at the Academy, died in the blast. Today, her fiance is telling his haunting story of the moments right after the blast. And Chris is joining us now with that story. Hi, Chris. Hey, Rena, if you tuned in at six, you heard a piece of the interview with Mark Burrington, that's Berg's fiance. But his story and his experience and the loss he feels is so gripping that we wanted to bring you more of what he told us today. It's been one day since the explosion, one day since the trauma, one day since losing the love of his life. So my whole life pretty much ended yesterday. Mark Burrington vividly recalls the last time he spoke to his fiance, Ruth Berg, as she worked down the block from their home at Minnehaha Academy. She called me back at, it was like 10.25, and we started talking about lunch, where we were gonna eat and stuff, or try to eat, because we both recently became vegetarians. And yeah, we talked, and, and we were laughing about the vegetarian thing, and I was like, all right, well, you know, I'll see you in an hour. And uh, we hung up, and five seconds later, Boom. Mark says he thought the loud boom came from the direction opposite of the school. So I said, I hope it's not the school. But when he walked down the street, his fears were confirmed. So he ran. He ran into a smoldering building in search of Ruth. The lockers were tipped down, the ceiling was down, and I could see daylight, and it was just, I knew it was bad, you know? I, I knew it. I knew it was bad as soon as I saw it. I knew it was her area. I just. You know, my heart just sank. I knew she was gone. I swear, I, right away, I just knew she was gone. And I, I still looked around, and I screamed, and I screamed, and it was so quiet in there. And I kept screaming her name. And it was just nothing. You know, it was just quiet. And it just sucked so bad. I just, I wanted to hear her voice so bad. And then smoke started coming in, and it, it just, it smelled so bad. And, and, and it, Everything in my eyes started burning, my lungs were burning, and I just I knew I had to get out. Ruth Berg's body was found about 2 p.m. Wednesday. Twice, the couple pushed back their wedding, waiting for the right time, the right place. Bear Lake, Colorado, next month. That was the plan. You know, we just got our invitations on, what, on Tuesday. Just got our wedding invitation. She was supposed to get her dress fitted today at 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. It's, it's insane, absolutely insane. Mark said the person that Ruth would talk about every other day, her favorite person at school, her chit-chat buddy with the big heart, John Carlson, custodian who also died in the explosion. It's, just, it's not easy for any of us, you know. One day later, Mark is still searching. He's searching for words, for answers, He's searching for peace. So I keep walking down there and looking at us down there at three in the morning, looking at it, you know? I just can't believe that she's gone. That's the school, I can't believe any of it. It's just so sad. And he talks about how he met her. He knew her since third grade. He said he had a crush on her in third grade and his goal was to hold her hand. And he said he knew back then, he remembered, I'm gonna marry her. Aww. And their lives went separate ways, and they reconnected at some point as adults. And we're going to get, it's this unreal love story and just brutal. Just tragic, no way around yeah, it. Yeah, just brutal. Oh, Chris, well, thank you for taking the time to, to uh, introduce us to him oh, and yeah. have him tell his emotional story. I know that couldn't have been easy. So, Well, a memorial fund has been set up for the families of Ruth Berg and John Carlson if you'd like to help. There is also a fund to help pay for the rebuilding that will be necessary at Minnehaha Academy. You can find links at care11.com and, of course, on our BTN 11 Facebook page.